Okay guys, it's time. You guys remember my aquaponic system uses perlite as a media. And it's been it worked okay in the beginning, but now it's nothing but trouble. So we have shale. We had a real hard time finding an appropriate media. And I finally got a hold of shale. What I've been doing is breaking it up. We got these piles. So we're going to change one of these. We change this bed first. And after this bed is done and we have the whole system cycled, we'll then pull everything out of this bed and do the same thing. So we're going to start with this one. First step, get all the plants out. Got half of them out so far. All right, first step, empty out the, the grow bed. And I line it with this biochar that's been soaking in this filter for a long time. The goal here is to seed bacteria in the system before I put the rock in. So now we have seed bacteria in the system. So hopefully we'll get fast cycling of the system. Here's another quick. Here's a quick look at another um, project I've got going. Anybody have any idea what this is? All right. Just give you guys a quick look. And here's a guess. Put it in the comments. Let's see if anyone can guess what I've, what I've got going here. And this is what we've got so far. Not completely filled, but pretty close. As she continues to break these up, we put them in. And uh, that's what we get. And I'm going to be putting a bunch of plants in here from the other one. And while we're at it, we're going to take another quick, uh, another, a look at another project that I'm doing. If uh, you guys, those hardcore followers, you guys are great. If uh, seen me plant these from seed, now I put this. This is a mango seed I put in this pot last. I planted it Saturday, and today's Thursday, so it shows you how much growth we've had in the one in the last few days. So for you guys that watch my mango planting seeds, there's the result. Now one of the things I've done, or I'm doing, look at this, this is a tomato. I cut the, this was a cutting that uh, I put in the system and I got roots on it. So we're gonna stick this over here and get it in. But wanted to show. This is what happens. Throw this in. I just had this sitting in the water for the last few weeks, or man, not even, maybe a week and a half. Um, I cut this off. This was a sucker. I cut it off, stuck it in the system, and here we are. Beautiful, healthy roots. We're going to put this in and hopefully get some tomatoes out of it. All right, here we are. It's done. Now, I've planted, uh, well, you see there's a lettuce. That's a celery. I did pull that one out. That pepper is uh, suffering some major transplant shock. Don't know if it'll ever live. Got an onion in there. I put a bunch of seeds in here, too. I've got some seeds that I did germinate um, like this. So I've got some cayenne peppers and some sweet peppers. I've got a few other things I'm going to be putting in here. But right now we've got effective flood and drain. Everything's working well. Um, I'll give you a quick look at the rest of the system. We've got uh, really good onion growth here. This celery. Now I've had some serious issues. Some good things, some bad things. My peppers, they, looked, they look rough. I'm not getting effect. I was not getting effective drainage because the perlite was just so bad. So I'm hoping that this will fix a lot of that. Um, now I've had to pull 
the air stone out of this tank because I was not getting enough oxygen to the fish. And I have a new uh, pump coming, but it isn't here yet. And since I pulled the air stone out of here, I've had pretty bad growth. But not terrible growth, just not very good. Um, once I get the new air pump in place, we'll go and we'll show you what happens from there. But for now, that's what we've got. We'll take a quick look at the fish while we're at it. And the last thing I need to cover is the pH. We'll take a look here. Now it's showing this. 7.6. 2, 4, 3, 4. It was up at 8, but the longer it sits in, it seems to drop. But uh, the water here, because this whole island is limestone, the water is super hard. So every time you add water to the system, you get a pH bump. So I'm hoping that we can get... Uh, yeah, I, I may have to put an RO system in place or something to get the pH down. Because I, I have a real hard time getting it anywhere below 7. So, we're... You know, it, it drops a little. But as you see, that's where we sit now. Well, oh guys, there we are. Not sure how good they're showing up, but the fish are getting big. And we're making progress. Now the water right now, it looks kind of crappy. But uh, I've had the pump on and off and on and off while I do this. So, um, but the problem I have is that the only pump I have is this one pump. Now I do have, like I said, I ordered a pump from the States. It's a significantly bigger pump. It isn't here yet, should be here any day. Once that's done, once that shows up, I'll show you how I hook that up and, and what I do with it. Because I'm going to be adding oxygen not only to this tank, because right now I only have the two air stones here. And uh, the problem is I was getting fish pooling. They were staying right at the air intake, the water intake. It was problematic. So hopefully we're going to make some changes soon and we're going to re we're going to get more growth and get things growing better again. For some reason my tomatoes I don't know if anyone knows what this is. Hopefully you guys can tell me what this is. Now take a look at my tomatoes. They look like crap and I don't know I don't have any idea what this is. And it's not just the tomatoes in the aquaponics system. All right? You take a look. This one, this tomato is growing in this bucket. I'm having over here in the banana circle. I've got the same thing. I got this one same problem. Hopefully someone can tell me what, a, what that is and if there's anything I can do about it. But all my tomatoes look this way. They all do. And I don't have any idea what to do about it. So, uh, bananas look great though. <laughs> I got really good looking bananas. So, uh, there we are guys. As you see, I got a big, huge pile of rocks still. I'm going to be putting in uh, more once. It'll take about a month because it'll take about a month for this to cycle properly. Once this is cycled properly, I'll do the same exact thing over here. And uh, this way I don't lose nitrification. So, for now, that's it. God bless everybody. Be safe.